We're good to go. Well, here we are for another Kuile Courageous Conversations. Alfie, this situation is very, very different. It's totally different. Well, one, I'm still trying to recover from spring break. Oh, uh, right, so we yeah, just finished break. our spring break. Sheldon had an amazing trip <laughs> during spring break, you know, uh, charting out his uh, son's future. Yes, yes. And then, oh my gosh, I think when we went to the different campuses, one of which was Stanford, which is way out of reach. But what a beautiful, beautiful place. Oh, so it's, it's kind of like Kapiolani being the Stanford it, of Hawaii. It is totally. Kapiolani Community College is the Stanford. <laughs> Of <laughs> <laughs> and whoever's listening to this, they can share their comments about what we just said. But in our heart of hearts, we are maybe even above the Stanford's of. Okay, so Sheldon said. I don't okay. know. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway. But today, um, today's episode is about making sure students are picking the right majors. I know. Mm-hmm. The Mm -hmm. health programs at Kapiolani Community College are super popular. Mm -hmm. Um, What Alfie and I have been noticing is when students are going through the application process, and no fault to them, they see the degree they want to pursue. It could be like nursing, like grad tech. What else is out there? Um, Medical assisting. Medical assisting. Yeah. Respiratory. Yeah. Basically anything within the health sciences. So I think what Sheldon's talking about is the... The co- it's not really an error, but the common thing we've seen with students who are interested in the health sciences is, I mean, it seems obvious, right? You apply right. for the right. health sciences. Right. Um, right. But again, the common hiccup that we see is that keeping in mind that health sciences is a select program, mm-hmm. which basically means there is a certain list of classes or prereqs that one has to take in addition to actually applying yep. to, gu- to kind of get into that particular degree. But Sheldon, when, when students do that, what happens to their application? It does stall their application process a little bit. And so if, um, for those who are viewing this podcast, if you look on your screen, it has our, our school's website, so kapiolani.hawaii.edu. We scroll over programs of study that's on the website, click on uh, credit programs, and let's just use nursing as one of the examples. So we scroll down to nursing, and again, for those who are both listening and watching, you would scroll down to sort of to the bottom of the page, and you'll see a link called ADN Self-Advising Form. And you're going to see a similar form for all of our health programs, because what it does, it details the kind of prerequisite classes students need to take prior to applying to one of our health programs. So what degree do our students need to select when they're in this exploratory process? I mean, the best degree to select at this point um, in your, as you start your academic journey is just go for the liberal arts, the liberal arts concentration um, or the liberal arts. And what will happen on our end is you can kind of contact us and let us know that, oh, but I want to get into nursing or I want to get into, you know, um, any other uh, other health sciences. Mm -hmm. So we'll kind of make a little notation on that. The reason why um, we highly recommend and we're going to change the liberal arts degree focus is because in the event that you need financial aid, Mm -hmm. financial aid only awards is only awarded for actual programs. Yeah. So pre nursing is not technically a program, you know, so that's why we're going with the liberal arts route. So, um, so again, what Sheldon mentioned earlier is that, yeah, go, you're, you're going to go ahead and put the health sciences, but it's going to delay that whole process of getting accepted, admitted into the college. So yeah. So, Sheldon, anything else you want to add to yeah, that? Yeah, you know, the delay is not huge. Um, I've been getting quite a few emails about students' application status uh, because they have applied maybe several weeks ago, haven't heard from us. And more times than any, when I do a scan on where their application is at, I'll say nine times out of 10, they had selected a health program in their initial application. And so for that, we need to go in, and we'll do it on our side. We'll go in, change them to liberal arts so they are in a FAFSA-eligible degree, and then uh, moving on from there. And so I was getting a whole bunch of emails actually over spring break about, you know, what degree do I pick? What's the timeline? Um, so just a reminder to all the prospective students, again, if you're interested in our health programs, select liberal arts as your degree. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and again, as you see on the sheet, the, these are the courses or pre-nursing courses you would take as a liberal arts student. And then for all of our health programs, once you complete the respective programs requirements is when you then apply to that particular program. Right. And another thing that we want to make note of is when you pick a degree program on the application, do not feel that that is something you are bound to. Yep. That is something that can easily change. Uh, if you listen to our previous podcast, we had a student who changed their degree four times. Yes. So it is totally possible for you to change your program. So don't feel like you're locked in if you tell us you want to go into a certain degree or program. Yep. So I hope that was helpful. Again, you can always reach out to us. Our email address is kapcoun at hawaii.edu. Uh, we're also a phone call away at 808-734-9399 or 808-734-9842. Uh, reach out anytime. Uh, we know this is a, a crazy journey, this college bit, but um, reach out and we will help.